the North are, North are going dancing. Northern Kentucky will be part of the NCAA tournament in its first season of eligibility. Joe Webb is live in Highland Heights where the team just returned as conference champs to lots and lots of cheers. Joe, we're envious that you're out there. Yeah, well, I got to tell you, Paula, you know, NKU is on spring break, so there are no students on campus, but they managed to get 100 or so people out here for a really enthusiastic welcome home for the basketball team. The NKU community, to put it simply, is a bit surprised. They're very grateful, but really fired up. It was a deserving welcome for the guys who got their team, their school, and an entire community an invitation to March's biggest party. They aren't the biggest team, but they played like it in the big game. And today, they were the big men on the NKU campus. It's incredible just the support that we've gotten from everyone all year long, and it's really propelled us. There's just the whole community and the students and the university as a whole has got us to where we are now. And Yeah, we knew we could do it. If, if we didn't believe we could do it, we wouldn't have did it. You know, And I feel like that's in anything in life. If you don't believe you can do it, then you won't do it. The win over Milwaukee gave Northern an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament in the school's first year of eligibility. Less than six years from the announcement of the move to Division I, the Northern basketball team proved they were ready to compete on the top tier. They're an outstanding group of young men. Uh, they deserved it. They played hard uh, all year. These guys made local basketball history last night, but the impact goes far beyond the court. Next week, they will square off on national TV against a top-ranked team. Win or lose the game, NKU wins. This is huge. I mean, if you look on social media, look on uh, the website, the local coverage, I mean, this is, you can't put a price tag on this. We're the talk of the region right now. It's, it's, it's amazing. It simply is amazing. And if you're looking to show your colors, you might have to shop around a bit. At Cook Sporting Goods, they have it all, but only one option of NKU t-shirts, two of these tumblers, and only one baseball cap. Well, we're going to have to uh, shake some trees and find some NKU stuff somewhere because the demand's only going to get, uh, it's only going to go up from here. Not to worry, the NKU bookstore is flush with black and yellow. You can pre-order championship and March Madness t-shirts now on the bookstore's website. A shipment should arrive late this week. Now the team in the university has to figure out where they're going to have the whether everybody is going to watch Sunday's selection show. It will either be in Griffin Hall where we did the interviews today or in the old Jim Regents Hall. Wherever it is, they're going to be selected very likely to play a much bigger and a much more experienced program. But I got to tell you, after talking with these guys today and talking with Coach Brandon, they're going to be ready and they're going to have fun reporting live. The campus of Northern Kentucky University. I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Paula. Well, well put. We're going to have fun too. Thank you. And we want you to share your photos and videos of how you are getting into the spirit of March Madness. Go to burst.com slash local 12 to share.